Hello students, today we will learn about how to work with Flash CSX. First, let us understand about symbols and animation. A symbol is a reusable object for static images or animation. It is either created in Flash with the help of drawing tools or imported from other sources. Flash stores symbols in the library. When we place a symbol on the stage, we create an instance of that symbol. Instance is a copy of the original symbol. The size, color, shape and position of an instance can be altered without affecting the original symbol. Symbols reduce the file size and simplify the editing process of a movie. If we modify the symbol, it will change all the instances. There are mainly three types of symbols available in Flash. Movie Clip, Button, Graphic Students let us know more. Library Panel is the storehouse of symbols from where these are used throughout the movie. Students, let's take a quick view. F8 is the shortcut for Convert to Symbol option. Ctrl plus L is a shortcut to open the Library Panel. Students, let us learn how to create a symbol. To create a symbol, follow these steps. Draw a train on the stage as shown in the figure by using the rectangle tool, oval tool and pencil tool from the tools panel. Choose the selection tool and drag the mouse pointer on the stage to enclose the train within a rectangular selection mark queue. Choose modify then go to convert to symbol. You will get a convert to symbol dialog box. Choose graphic from the type drop down list. Specify the symbol's name, G-Train, in the name text box and click OK. Your new symbol is now added in the library panel. Notice that the train symbol appears enclosed inside a blue bounding box with a small hollow circle in the middle. Click on the library panel tab to view the symbol and its name. An instance of a symbol appears on the stage. You can create multiple instances of the same symbol by dragging the symbol from the library panel to the stage. To make changes to the name, size, color effects or actions of a particular instance, select the instance and open the property inspector on the right side. Any change that you make affects only the instance and not the symbol. You can also make changes directly to the symbol within the library panel. Right click on the symbol's name in the library panel and select the edit option from the context menu or double click the symbol's icon in the library panel or on the stage. The symbol editing window will open. Select the front part of the train using the selection tool and change its color to red. Note that the changes made directly to a symbol are applied to all instances of that symbol. After making the desired changes, exit from the symbol's edit mode by selecting scene 1 or the back button present on the edit bar above the stage. Students note that the property inspector in Flash displays all the information regarding the object that is selected, that is, setting of the current document, symbol, text, shape, bitmap, group, frame, video or tool. Students let us know more. You can press enter or select control then go to play option to play back or preview the animation. Alright, now let me tell you how to use the animation. When a series of images are displayed in a rapid sequence in fixed interval of time, an illusion of movement is created. This illusion of movement created by quick transition of images is termed as animation. Animations can be created in Flash with the help of twinning, which means in between. The movement from one keyframe to the other becomes convenient with the use of the twinning. Students let us know more. We can view all the frames created between the starting and ending keyframe of the twinned animation by using onion skin feature. There are two types of onion skinning. The onion skin option displays frames in full color whereas with the onion skin outlines option you can view the outline of the object in the frames. Flash provides two types of twinned animation. Motion twin, shape twin. 
Students, please note the fact morphing refers to the special effects in animation that transforms one shape into another shape through a seamless transition. The main difference between both the twinning is that the motion twinning works on the symbols whereas shape twinning is used with objects that are not symbols and are ungrouped. Students, let me tell you that you can also group multiple objects in a drawing so that they can be easily selected and moved as a whole. To do so, select the object and click on Modify, then go to Group or press Ctrl plus G key combination. Students, let us know more. It is not always essential to draw an object for animation as you can also use external images and bitmaps to create an animation. You can import any image into Flash by selecting File, then go to Import and then go to Import to Stage. The shortcut key to import an image is Ctrl plus R.